Happy Vlogmas Day number 19. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year's. Tonight's subject, I am all over the place. I had a couple's chat with my nephew and his uh, girlfriend of six years tonight. And it's uploaded to my channel for you guys that want to watch it. It's a two-part. Um, well, actually, it's a three-part, but when my phone cut off the last time, I just said, hey, it was almost over at that point. But, you know, I asked some really good questions, got some very good feedback, and it is what it is. You know, relationships are what you make of them. They are what you make of them. So, I wanted to... Um, I had asked them, <clears throat> when did you know your worth? When did you know? And guys, it is so important that we as parents... Show our children their worth. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have two sons. And um, my mom had three girls. I'm the oldest. And so, excuse me, growing up, we were in a much different time than we are now. Um, you know, the little girls can wear short shorts and I mean, of course, perverts have always existed, I'm sure, but you could wear a tank top or a halter and you didn't have to worry about, you know, some man just driving down the street and picking your child up and running away or, you know, we are in a different time and I get it. And I just know I've ha I've grew up with girls who didn't know their value. It's not your breast. It's not your rump. It's not your pocketbook. That 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 doesn't define who you are, you know. Looks fade over time, you know. It's who your parents have established that you are. And let me say this, because people are quick to say, "I didn't grow up with a daddy. I I was a single parent, or my uncle. I mean, my auntie raised me." If you had one good parent, you still were blessed. Because think about those kids who are in foster homes or whatever, who had no one to say, you matter. So, to me, that's an excuse if your dad wasn't <coughs> present. Because if your mama was there, and she was present, and she showed you your value, that she imputed value in you, that's all that matter. I raised my boys. You don't put your hands on a woman. You don't fight a girl. <clears throat> Be a gentleman at all times. However, I do know people who, if the man attempts to walk off, they want to hit him and scratch him and stab him and all this stuff because they want him to interact with them violently, right? I don't know what post, I, what video I said it on, but... <clears throat> 
if all you know is violence, peace is your enemy. If all you know. So if you are chaotic and you run into someone that's peaceful, you you don't know what to do with that. And guess what? They ain't gonna know what to do with you. You know, they can try, but if if all you know is is the rah rah, and that's all you wanna know, <clears throat> unless you run into someone that's that has the same rah rah or the same mindset, you're gonna be up by yourself because peace and chaos don't mix. Okay, okay, so I'm getting off track. <clears throat> so I raised my boys, and to this day, I tell them in a relationship, and I mix no words, right? Whatever relationship you in, you the most valuable one in it. I will repeat it. Whatever relationship that you are in, you are the prize. You. And I mean that. I tell them that. Right? You the baddest thing walking out here on planet Earth. You are brilliant. You are a genius. You are awesome. Right? That doesn't mean we have a perfect relationship, but I guarantee you they know they worth. Some girl don't have to tell them you're special. Do you hear me? If I had a daughter, because my dad, my dad when I was, I don't know, I was a little girl. But he said, Sean, you are beautiful. You are very beautiful. I'm your daddy, and I'm letting you know you're beautiful. So a man, a boy, don't have to tell you what I just told you. Do you trust me? Yes, daddy. Do you trust daddy will tell you the truth? Yes, daddy. You are very special. You're a very special person, and you are wonderful. Do you, do you believe daddy? Yes, daddy. So I didn't I didn't need a man to 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 tell me my worth, to show me my worth. I didn't need a man to validate me. I was validated when I was a little girl. I validated my sons as a little girl. I'm as as little boys. And I told them, hey, you are somebody, right? You are worth the weight. You are handsome. You are loved. You are somebody. See, when we validate our children, they don't grow up to be people needing to be in the face of every man, he, he, and kai, kai, for every man to tell them, oh, you're cute. They don't need to sleep with every man for validation because... After he have used her up. You understand what I'm saying? You know. <clears throat> we as parents. You don't leave your kids out to dry. You don't. You you raise them up. To be. Kings and queens. Because that's who we. That's who we birth. Kings and queens. My sons know. They are loved. They know they are special. And in whatever relationship you in, you are the prize. And I mean that. So if we are all telling our children you are the prize, then we shouldn't have so many dysfunctional relationships because she know her worth, he know his worth. Right? If we are telling our children the truth, and we are being parents. Our children won't be in abusive relationships. 
our daughters won't be with boys beating them to death because he might give her a few dollars or, you know, no, you keep those fruit, those few dollars and go get you some help. We as parents need to do better. You know, we, we do. We need to do better. <clears throat> I used to always say that parents should be, a mom, dad, whoever interact with their child should know whether or not their child can't read. It's not, it's not all on the teacher. And I think a parent that always suggests that the teacher is not doing their job, it, 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 to me, it screams, you're not doing your job. That you're not doing your job. Because when my children were small, yeah, I bought toys, but I also bought books. We're going to read today. We're going to read. And I need you to read out loud. And I would clean up my house and tell him, you know, each one of them had a turn because they're five years apart. I would say, read to me. And so that you don't make them nervous, do stuff. I would clean up. And as word as they reading and they mispronouncing words, go back over and look at the word. Show me that word you just said. And they correct it. Oh no, baby, that's this or that's that. And then you go on about your day and keep cleaning up and keep letting your kid read to you. And keep reading and reading and reading. You know, but I have seen so many parents, oh, that teacher not doing that job. No, you're not doing your job as a parent. You're not doing your job. So whenever, you know, we're not doing our job, it's always somebody else's fault. Teach your children. Teach them morals and values so that they're not cussing out the, the old man on the street. The old lady on the street. Yeah. Teach them. You're the, you're the, we are the, our, our children's first line of defense. So if your child grow up and can't read, can't write, Where were you? You didn't check homework. You didn't check grades. Where were you? A lot of us is present but absent. You present in the home but absent in everything else. Your children can come home and you 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 there but absent. I love mine enough to make sure that I was present in the moment and every moment they needed me. I knew my children could read. I knew they could write, but because before school started, before they even, before I enrolled them in school, I taught them how to write their name. We as parents need to do better. Again, I tell my sons, in whatever relationship you in, you the prize. So can you imagine if the next mom is telling her daughter or her son, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one, we're going to have some healthy relationships because you know your worth, and he know his worth. We're going to get together, and, and life is going to be okay. But when you have somebody who know their worth and somebody who they find value the only value they find is when they have to remove their clothes and give give their self away to some man. Yeah. Or our sons are being mistreated. Don't know his worth. Some of us are too busy To even care. And it's sad. 
I guess I, I, I guess when God made me a parent, he equipped my heart with so much love for the two children he blessed me with. So much curl. I love them to pieces. And I don't say love them to death. I say I love them to life. I just wish we as parents could do better. You know, a lot of sometimes you you have children young and they grow up with you. I I told my kids I'm, I'm not your friend. I'm not I'm not your friend. I'm not your buddy or your pal. And you're gonna respect me as such. We can have a good old time. We can laugh and kiki. But don't ever step out of place. Because my role will always be your mother. But I taught my boys, and I repeat it. In whatever relationship they are in or they find themselves in, you the prize. Yeah. So don't ever feel like you beneath. Don't ever feel like you're not worthy. Don't ever feel like they up here and you down here. Don't ever feel like uh, you don't matter. And you don't let him or her make you feel that way. Because your mama and your daddy have told you, have showed you that you're more precious than fine, than, than, than gold, rubies, diamonds, pearls, whatever. You're more precious than that. And I don't know, I guess just in this holiday season, you know, we, we was having a, a chat today, and that was one of the questions I asked them, like, when did you know your worth, you know? And I just, I don't know, I just felt some type of way because I know, I, I just know so many people who grew up with me, right? And went down a totally separate path. Just, you know, men paying them for, you know, pay, paying them for sex and, 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 we, you know, I'm like, wow, what? You know what I'm saying? It didn't make sense to me. Like, I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> I just, but, you know, like I said, you know, it was some things missing. It was some things not put into them. Because if you know your value, then laying with a man for $40 or pay, uh, laying with a man to get your phone bill paid or selling yourself short for $20, then hmm. I think, you know, uh, we learn a lot of things along the way. <laughs> We do, and I'm hoping, you know, my desire is for those children who are growing up now, who who, who have present but absent parents, that somewhere down the line, they run into somebody who genuinely care. You know, I remember growing up, and I'm going to end this video because I'm already at 20 minutes just about. <laughs> just had a lot to say today. This vlog, this this Sunday, 19th day of Vlogmas. Um, <clears throat> so I hope I didn't bore you guys too much, but I just think, you know, we've lost so many children to the streets and you know, I'm one of those people, 
You know, I don't believe just because your child's 18, you're going to kick him out. No, I want my child to go when he's ready to go. When he can stand on his own two feet and pay his bills and do what he's supposed to do. Uh, age don't make you mature. And and there's people out here, you know, as soon as they get 18, they got to go. Where they going, man? Where they going, sir? Where are they going? I'm not, I, I've always said that I'm not giving the streets my children. So when you can when you can go and stand on your own two feet and pay your rent and buy your food and pay for your car note, you know, when you can take care of yourself, that's when it's time for you to go. And I mean that. So if you <laughs> 49 and struggling, you can be right here with your mama until you get it together. I don't, I don't believe because you 18, you 20, you 21. You, I don't believe that. I mean, people raise their children different, but I'm not giving the streets mine, and I'm not setting my kid up for failure, and I'm not kicking my kid out because they 18, they 21. No. When you can hold your own, because let me tell you something. When I got my first apartment, my mom, I gave my mom a key. And she would go to the grocery store, put food in my house, and go home. So why would I sit here and kick my kid out when my mom was so kind and generous to me? But people do it, you know. Oh, I guess you you you, you know you tired of your son, so you want to bring in your boo, and your boo don't want your kid there. Oh no, baby, my child was here before you got here, and he gonna be here when you leave. See, I'm not I I. I'm not from that school. I'm not. I'm not from that school, baby. Like you can't come in my house and eat up my children's snacks and 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 run my house and put your hands on my kids, sir. You going to jail? Cause I'm pressing charges. You don't put your hands on kids that don't belong to you. But so many parents, so many of these women, every boyfriend they get can whip their child, can discipline their child, holler and cuss at their child. Are you serious, baby? This is house. This house that you coming in, creeping in to lay with me, eat up their food and go back home, probably to your wife and your own kids. This is the this is their house. See, I don't play them type of games. I don't play them type of games. But people do it. I don't know why I was on this subject, but people do it. People do it. I'm just saying, tell your kids, show your kids, be the example again. And I'm going to leave y'all with this. I told my two boys, in whatever relationship you in, you find yourself in, you get in, you stumble in, you roll in, you walk in, whatever. You fly in, you swoop in. Whatever relationship you are in, you are the prize. So you don't sit here and work yourself in the ground for somebody that don't appreciate you, baby. You the prize. If we're not doing it together, we're not doing it at all. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, no, sir. No, ma'am, and no, sir. So. Just had some stuff on my heart. Like I said, I had asked my nephew and his girlfriend that question. And, you know, like I said, my dad told me a long time ago, Sean, you're, you're, you're very beautiful. You're very smart, intelligent little girl. I was a little girl when he told me. You don't need some old man to tell you that, right? This old man right here that loves you to pieces, your daddy, I'm telling you that. So you don't need Joe Blow, Clyde Jr., Willie Earl. You don't need no. You don't need none of them telling you what I'm. I just told you. Okay. You don't need them. And whenever you need to hear it again, you let me know. And when I come around and I feel like you need me to tell you, I'm gonna let you know. And he did. He didn't play that. He didn't play that. And my mom didn't either do nothing. She don't, I'm 10, 11, 12. She don't need no old man. You, you know, you you 20 in my face. You 25 and talk, trying to talk to me and I'm 12. 
Oh, my mom, was, honey, her hand will stay quick on 911. So, I guess the people already around me already knew, honey, she ain't playing no games, honey, she will press charges. You know, because I was, I've always been thick, like, I, I mean, you know, I've always been a thick, a thick girl. So, yeah, you thinking you coming at me, you, you got, my mom wasn't playing no games and she didn't curl. So, I can only imagine if I had a daughter, like, man, I probably would be just like my mama. And you know, growing up, you don't see it. You, I mean, you, you see it when you see other girls pregnant early. You, when you, you see that, you know, they don't got put out or they in juvenile. You see a lot of stuff then at that moment, you know, but I just think we should do better as parents. We should do better. So I guess, <clears throat> I guess I have talked and talk talk myself out i do have to work tomorrow however i just wanted to sit on here and give my video again don't forget i have i uploaded um live chat with the one and jewel it's a part one part two actually it's a part three but people kept calling my phone and then they knocked me off i was like you know what so we wrapped it up on his phone so on his camera whatever but it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good video, and we will be coming back again. Uh, some people didn't show up. You know, things happen. Things come up. Again, I wasn't even supposed to host it. Somebody else was supposed to host it, but he woke up sick. So, <sighs> but it turned out okay, right? So, guys, I just want to tell you all to please have a merry Christmas. Please have a happy holiday. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all in my next video, Sean's Journey Out.